that's everybody just gone home. Tony's just gone. And then, you remember this uh, grave and I cut off that thing under there? I just tried to pull it out and it must have rooted up because it's solid. It's got like a new shoot in the middle. Yeah. yeah. So Henry's going to have that for a storm. He's got a south facing wall at the back, a stone wall. It'll look good on there. So, just been talking uh, to Henry about this when these carrots are done. I'm going to make a tubular out of conduit, plastic conduit, a square frame with jointed up the middle. And then two parts coming out, one on each corner. And drop it in the bottom first before I refill it. And then we can fill it from the parts. So it's always watered at the bottom. If we fill them parts once a day, it'll just seep out. And we cut holes in that plastic part underneath. So I won't be doing that one. Yeah. And the parrot nearly hung itself yesterday. Stuck in all these ball in these uh, bells that it has on its cage. That's the old part of the land to watch over it. Yeah, these bells was on a chain in his cage. And he got his claws stuck in one of the holes. He was hanging upside down, he was pretty uh, depressed. He was squawking about everywhere. So we've got them out and uh, put them on here. We'll let them when it's windy. A bit of noise as well. Well, it's not one knot. Veg is looking tremendous in there. Uh, give everything a good water tonight and then tomorrow we'll give everything a good comfort feed. <laughs> Something's been having a go at that, isn't it? They're coming on them in the spritz in the middle. Lovely juggler. They are, they're getting solid in the middle now then. Eating them in uh, oh, oh, two weeks, probably. Easily. I've got some something else put in there then. So we need some more seeds planting. Well, Henry planted some yesterday. Some more colour. And uh, some more cabbage, I think. green leaves on there. See? Like a stupendous. Uh, what was I coming here for then? Brain dead, me. Yeah, looking at the seeds, what's on the planted, let's have a watch. He's planted some mixed salad lettuce. Some of that Rossa lettuce, the red one. Some more cabbage. And some rocket. And we need, uh, so I need, I can do them for now. Need some cabbage and some colour. Crack on with them. Yeah, I'll show you something first. Just a bit. Uh, first grapes. Show you now. There you go. There's a little bunch. See them? Yeah. And then if you look at all these things, you'll see them coming on. There's a bunch. There's two bunches. There's a bunch. There's a bunch. They're all little grapes, I see. All bunches. So, 
So we're going to see Joe where we trim them out. Because some of these arms will come out, see there's bunches on there, there's one, two bunches on each. I don't know whether you keep one bunch, take the end off, I can't remember. So we'll have to see Joe. But at least we've got grapes this year. Melted. Oops. These tomatoes are bombing out. Looking good in here now. I did my feed yesterday. And uh, we're looking okay. These little ones are coming on again. Ones we planted uh, from seed. So they're looking alright. We've got the feed. We're going to go and plant some seeds. Brought a flask up with some hot water in, so I'll make a brew. And we'll see what we're doing. It's pretty full, aren't it? Isn't it? Okay. Well, all these spuds have come through in there now. Started coming through that. Each start. The ones at the back have not come through yet. Beans are looking alright. We've got eight sweet corn left. What well, they'll do is them sweet are doing okay in there. Not ready for planting yet. The collar there was all planted from seed. Uh, a couple of months ago now. Check it this. <laughs> Bring these trimming out again. Give it a water to all these suckers off the bottom need coming off. Yeah, trim all them off. Even gonna have figs this year off this. That was my mate's garage at the garage. He's got school with him and he's got a MOT place. I took the car for MOT about three years ago. He had it in the corner and the mechanics used to pour oil in it and uh, go to the toilet in it and that, if you know what I mean. And he said, take it. He, said, he got it off. He got it because he liked figs when he was on holiday somewhere. Greece or somewhere, wherever he was. And he already brought, he, he got one, it's all grown one at home. And he's had it in that. It's been in, how long did he say that? Like four years, so it's probably seven years old that. Well, I've never had it out of that pot. Well, it was in a it was in a orange bucket, just a, a garden bucket when I got it. We've never had figs off it yet. I said the first lot of figs he can have. We'll take them up and they can give me a free MOT. So that's sorted. Oh, Michael's seeds out. Henry must have watered it. The one is looking good and neat in it. I'll plant it up. We're all on top of it then this end. Oh Henry's gonna <laughs> he's got a barrow to match that. Because I cads that one off Tony. Because it was falling to pieces, but it, it's still a full barrow. But I uh, I just filled it with flowers and that. And Henry's got one for this side. He cadged it off somebody on Sunday, so. <coughs> He's having this full of flowers on the other side, I said. That one there. <laughs> so he's having his own little flower bed lap on some holes at the bottom of it. And that's where his holes are. <coughs> need some holes and drilling in that. Yeah. Belted. I don't know what that plant is though, I think it's a weed. It's staying in. It's nice. It? A white flower. Any weeds are plant to me. 
They're all weeds. They're all plants. As long as they fill the bed up. I don't know what this one is. I'll just sprinkle loads of seeds. That's a nettle. I want these coming out. Just sprinkle loads of seeds and that in here and just to fill it up. There you go. It's everything watered up with all spark. I've done all soil around these pots. And that's just been rolling that also. Yeah, everything looks better after water, doesn't it? See them beetroot better now. So it's a good old dose everywhere. Today, so hopefully, we'll go. This area is budding up, can you see? That's a red one. This one's not doing so good over here. Can it even that's something? Well, this is like a peach coloured one. Orange peach, light pink, and that's a dark red one. Yeah, it's coming alive now, these uh, flower boxes. Then we a bit of water. So I'll show you some of those, I can't remember. Yeah, this big. It's, uh, it's a bit restricted in this little pot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back later. I'm going to repot it in there. I'll take that peach out of. There should be a bit more room in there if I grow. Hopefully get some fruit off that this year. Put Henry's barrow there ready for him. We'll be watching Henry. It's there. Put some mobs round as well. Then we'll match him barrow see you want some match him barrow like that. Full of flowers. Put them all right, that now, isn't it? All wild flowers I put in except these. These are from Shirley's mum. I've got them in these pots. Like it was that one and, a blue, and that one, and two purple ones, and then these are just uh, forget me not something. That's garden mint, and there's wildflowers in between, a bit of wild grass. Tonight. <laughs> in there, just wildflowers, taking the horse home now, I'm having the horse out, I've filled all the butts up, so every time I have the horse out, fill them up and give these trees a good drink as well, yeah, so we're all topped up again, I it out anyway, this is the first blossom we've ever had on the Golden Delicious this one. So I'm hoping for an apple this year because I like Golden Delicious. Nothing on that uh, pear tree that I snapped off. I was chopping the cherry tree down a few months ago and a piece of it, that was up there under the cherry tree and a branch snapped it off so it was just a stick. But all this is new growth because there was nothing on it. So I'm happy it's grown back another. Not these cutting off. Henry's apples are all uh, blossoming up. Got a couple of apples off these. Oh, See when it comes because we've got uh, grapes on there. There's any plums forming. Can't see any, unless any eagle eye can. Your eyes are probably better than mine. I reckon I should get some this year off that. This pear tree's not a lark at all. We've got little pears, there you go. You see what? It's like a bunch of pears, so that's a little pear there. We've not got many on. Not many at all. 
and then the apples and there's plenty of apple blossom so should be okay there. Any plums on this one? And a couple of flowers there. We might get a oh, some underneath here as well. That's where the plums come from, where them flowers are. Is that one? And that's one form in there. Yeah. Found out in a couple of weeks. We've got a bad cough up there, we better get stay up there. We don't want that uh, corona, no, 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 virus. Have we? Oh, thank you. Yeah, I think that'll do for this morning. We've got a couple of hours. Look at that flower bed, mate. It's better every time I see it. That's called uh, Rebecca. This is that one off to you, that one. It was a big yellow daisy on. It was about, about four foot tall, I think. So, Jacob's ladder's doing all right. Everything is up here. Everything that likes to shade that, really, because where I got that the Jacob's ladder from, it was uh, behind the big trees up there. That's Gordon's house right at the top. That's a wall going in. He'll let me dig a bit up from here as well. These carrots are going bonny, aren't they? Look at them. Put me on the... Growing them, aren't they? Downwards, hopefully. Hopefully. Right, nothing else was watering. So I'm going to set off at home and uh, start it at home then. But the grapevine's growing out there. Going out the reef there. Now that's my battery going, so adios till I'll come back this afternoon and I won't do a bit, bits and bobs, but I'll film that for in the morning. Okay? Adios. See you later.